Hey, what's up, everyone? Jordy here, and today I'm back with um, a different kind of video, but I hope you guys will like it nonetheless. Uh, but before I start the video, I just want to say, if you like what you see, consider uh, leaving a like, consider subscribing, and if you want more tips on how to grow your YouTube channel or how to grow your Twitter or how to grow your Instagram or if you just want to enjoy music, then that's all on my channel. So if you like this and you want to see more, feel free to browse around the channel and check out my other content. What are we going to talk about today? Today I am going to talk to you about growth on Twitter. And I am not talking about um, gaining fans for your music or your art or whatever you do. I'm talking about how you can network with other people and get to know other people. And also, you know, maybe down the line, uh, collaborate with them. And who knows, maybe if you guys collaborate together, you then tap into their fan base and then maybe you do get followers or you, you know, you have people that regularly check out your content and maybe they share it. So there are all kinds of reasons why you would want to grow your Twitter account. Before we start, you have to ask yourself, what is the goal of my Twitter account. Is it, as I said, to network with people? Or is it purely for fans to follow you? Now, you can do it for both. Before we go onto the Twitter platform, you have to ask yourself these questions. They are on the screen right now. If you want to look at them in more detail, then um, pause the video and take a look at them. And we are going to continue the video. What I recommend doing is open a, a notepad and start to write a message where you talk to that person genuinely and that it really seems like you wrote that message for that person. So I am going to write something down and once I'm done with that, I'll get back to you guys. Now, this is something that I would write. Hi, just saw X video on Twitter when I was searching for new people to network with. I really liked X and X about the video. The reason I went to network, oh, that's a typo. The reason I want to network is because I want to meet more talented people from all around the world and see their work. Keep up the good work. Journey. And of course, in this hi, you can also um, uh, you can also replace this hi with hi and then that person. So that's what you can do. And then you simply um, have this message. So what are we going to do right now? There are two things that I want to show you. The first one is if you go on your Twitter and you simply go to your starting page. I'm sorry, mine is in Dutch, but you'll get the hang of it. Anyway, what I always do is I am going to go and um, search for a hashtag. So say I'm searching underground. Let's see what happens when you search like this. It's shown the power to snap bodies and shoot like a wishbone. Words of a wise man disrupt the feed in your spot. Okay, so I found something that I like. And actually, this is what I like so much that I will also, um, you know, follow the person that died first. I'm going to follow. So, um, I need, whoa, I need to make sure that I... Um,
So um, now there's two things we can do. I can go to this post and I can say I like it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to like it. I'm going to post a comment here. I'm not going to follow them. Okay. And then I'm going to this guy. So I'm going to follow him. And, you know, sadly, um, this guy doesn't allow you to uh, send the message, I believe. No. So in this case, uh, you cannot send him a message. So in that case, uh, what you can do is do something different. And then you can say, um, what is it again, what we checked out? The time is now. Then what we can do is we can go and post a tweet. So then you go. And then we tweet this. Okay, so we are going to repeat this process like five times. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in all, but um, I'm going to search a couple of hashtags and um, then we'll see what happens. From an era where you stick to the code, nigga It's consequences to this life When you fold in it Ain't no changing up your statements once you told in it Cause when we get that paperwork, it's a go, nigga My cousin died, I ain't never seen a fighter Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go hard on this man I'm gonna go hard on this man, man He's 23 years Man, this guy is good, man and he is a, you can send him a message. So I'm going to follow the guy. Okay, guys. So I found someone which I really like. Um, it's it's cool because it's not my style of rap. Or like it's not my style of hip hop, rap, or I'm seeing whatever you want to call it. But um, I like what the guy does. So um, if I... Damn. If I... If I genuinely genuinely like it then what i usually do is what i'm gonna um i'm gonna send the guy a message so remember that we wrote something in the notepad earlier so what we are going to do we're gonna go to this guy we um send him a message so we click on it and then we are going to paste We are going to paste this in this field and we are going to say Now, I forgot that I needed to change this. Um, I needed to change this to a um, comma because I didn't want to approach him this way. But oh well, I forgot. See what happens. And then we are just going to wait and see what happens. And because I like it so much, um, I am going to comment on this and say, damn it.
All right, and in this case, Sometimes it's consequences, it ain't always gonna be demons. Now I see it. When I get my family right, I wanna see my homies eating. Used to fantasize her life would be if I could sign a deal and be the first one in my fan to lay my eyes up on a million. Just imagine if you driving and see my face on the billboard. From the track, but my soul pierce and maybe something like young Tiller. If he talk that boy you're right, I ain't gonna speak on what I witnessed. I can't wait till I get back to all the people that invested. If you wanna verse our tax, I'm never gonna be the same person. All right, so man, the I really like the lyrics in this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna retweet it this time, but what I am going to do is I'm definitely going to follow her just because I genuinely like it, and um, it's good because I'm also allowed to send a message to her. So that's awesome. What we're going to do is we're gonna repeat the same process. So we're now following her. And then we go into the message thing, and then we are going to go here, and uh, we are going to go, oh, we're already there, of course. So then we are going to go into our notepad, and then we're going to just copy this over again. Hey, what you can take away from this video is that, as you can see, not everyone allows you to uh, send them a message. So if that's the case and you cannot uh, use this format, this format we've created here, what you can do is then um, go to your homepage and then um, make a tweet mentioning them and then uh, say what you like about it. And again, I want to make clear that you have to uh, really think about what is the goal that you want to have when you go on Twitter and search for new people? Because are you only looking for interaction or if you, you know, if you only want to just look for things that you genuinely like, then um, you don't necessarily need to make something like this. You can also just then go on Twitter um, look for things you like and comment on them like uh, I did. The reason is very simple. If you have people on your timeline which you are actually interested in, then it's more then it becomes more natural to interact with posts on Twitter. And what happens when you interact on Twitter? Then if you interact with others, people might interact with your content. And that is uh, what I want to say. This method really takes a lot of time because you really have to search on Twitter for things that you like. You either have to send messages to them personally, you have to interact, you have to spend time and um, check out other people's content and really listen to it. Because what you saw me do was really quick and I do it quick now for the sake of the video. But if I really was doing this on my own without the camera on or without filming, I would genuinely watch two or three things and then, uh, you know, then give my opinion on that. And then, you know, then just tell people what I like and what I think maybe could have done better. And by doing that, people then really think you're, you're genuine and you checked out their content. So, yeah, it takes a lot of time. But I'm going to end the video saying I am going to look at a couple more uh, people I'm interested in and uh, apply the steps that I just showed you. And then I'm going to make a follow-up video and see how many people actually reacted or actually followed me. And then you can see for yourself what the results are. This was me for today. And I'll get you guys in the next video.